All right, this is an update on my knee injury. Um, it's been day two, and it's feeling a lot better today. Um, last night, I was able to sleep. But the night before that, um, right after it happened, that, that, that night, I couldn't really sleep. I felt too much pain. Um, but now, it's feeling a lot better. I can move around, but I still can't really run. There's still a little bit of pain. Um, I'd say maybe it's like 50% heal. Um, I've been taking Motrin, which is like a like a painkiller, you know, to kind of ease the pain and and uh, take away the 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 swollenness. It's not really that swollen. Um, it never really was that swollen. Um, and I've been putting Woodlock on it and massaging it. Um, it was really hard, you know, it hurt a lot when I would lay down for some reason. When I lay down, it would hurt. So I had to hang my knee over my bed, you know, to, to, ha to have the pain go away or to ease up the pain a little bit. Even when I try to elevate it, um, it would be very painful too. I didn't really ice it much. I iced it just a little bit. Um, and one of the students or one of my clients let me uh, use her knee brace so I used that for a little while but at this phase I don't really think I need it anymore the knee brace actually makes it feel worse in a way I like the freedom of movement right now it looks like it's on the way to recovery to a full recovery which I'm very thankful for and happy for um, but regardless of that I'm treating it as a very serious injury um, that very easily could have occurred and I need to um, you know I have been reevaluating um, my training and, spe and specifically regards to the sparring and um, how we engage and and basically the importance of following rules and directions that's very important um, I see that the main reason that this happened was because um, the person I was sparring with didn't follow the rules um, of engagement um, but even so, if this would have happened during contact sparring that was agreed upon, this could have very easily happened and it's not worth it. You know, so basically my view on this has a really, um, given me a lesson where I need to really up, make, up, up the safety measures of the type of sparring that, that, that I'm conducting within this school so this is a, a learning objective to um, for the for the future of this school you know but it looks like I, I should be able to make a full recovery and also it just teaches me not to uh, take my my health and my body for granted I need to protect my health and my body and keep it at tip-top shape you know so then I'm prepared for a real encounter on the streets if that does happen one day that I'll be fully equipped and fully prepared for that that moment of survival um, I should not be getting hurt during my training for any reason you know neither I should be getting hurt or neither should my students um, I need to protect their safety as well as my own so these are one of the the major learning aspects of this incident